Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video and we're going to be talking about Dan Aykroyd. You know him from Ghostbusters. That's probably uh, one of his uh, most famous roles. Also, he was in Trading Places playing Louis Winthorpe III. That's one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Me and my wife are actually going to be enjoying that movie. But uh, Dan Aykroyd now has weighed in on cancel culture when it comes to comedy. And Dan Aykroyd seems to have bent the knee to the woke mob. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these people that are trying to cancel a Dave Chappelle or any other comedian and comedy now is just not funny because of cancel culture. Comedians are terrified that the woke mob will come after them. And guess what? The woke mob, these people are not fans of comedy. They don't find anything funny. Their lives are miserable, miserable because everything is offensive to them. Well, check this out, guys. Ghostbusters actor Dan Aykroyd believes hurtful comedy should be canceled. Unbelievable. It's easy for laughs. The Ghostbusters Afterlife star joins other comedians and actors who have voiced their opinion about cancel culture. Let's do this, guys. Let's, let's read this because this is absolutely ridiculous. Dan Aykroyd has spoken out in support of cancel culture when it's appropriate. The Ghostbusters star, 69, said hurtful comedy should be called out for its hurtfulness. There's enough range in humor where you don't have to go statistical and you don't have to go pulling any divisive cards to get a laugh. He told the Hollywood Reporter in an interview. Quote, there's so much in the world to comment on that is outside the realm of offensiveness. As a writer, you can go to other areas and have successful creative endeavors. Statistical humor. It's fun. It's easy laughs. But there is more intelligent writing that can happen if you stay away from the offensive material that should be rightful. I think they may rightfully cancel for his hurtfulness. He continued. Who can be the subject of an impression today? That's an area of discussion. Can I do my James Brown intimidation? He was one of my best friends. I do his voice pretty good, but maybe I shouldn't anymore. You see, he wants to bend the knee to the woke mob. And James Brown's your friend, whether he's your friend or not, is irrelevant. Dan Aykroyd, you are a comedian. Your job is to make people laugh no matter who gets offended by it. That's why I love comedy in the 80s. Eddie Murphy's Delirious is one of the funniest stand-up comedy routines I've ever seen. But if he put that out today with woke comedy, he would be canceled. He would. And Dan, Dan Aykroyd, he's the one to actually talk about this kind of stuff today, considering in Trading Places, he played Louis Winthorpe III, but near the end of the movie, he got into disguise in blackface with a character called Lionel Joseph. And him and Eddie Murphy in that scene, you know, they were trying to make a caricature of uh, of uh, Africans, I guess, um, from. Um, I, I don't remember which country that they said they were from in it, but it was comedy. It was funny. And that's the way comedy should be. And it even mentions here, Aykroyd, who once wore blackface in the 1983 movie Trading Places, has taken a different position than many of his fellow comedic stars. Wow. And this all is tying back to, you know, to Dave Chappelle for his, uh, the closer stand up routine on there. Talking about the trans community. And of course, you know, people got their feelings hurt. These woke people that don't care anything about comedy. These people didn't care anything about Dave Chappelle. It's just that when he made fun of them, oh, now they're offended. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Comedians of all different races, they make fun of everybody. That's what makes comedy comedy. 
And it's so it's so disgusting, you know, to see Dan Aykroyd, you know, basically bend the knee to the woke mob. And he's going to be in Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm wondering now, is that movie going to be any good? Because, you know, Ghostbusters is a comedy. But are they going to going to try to really, you know, taper back comedy so they don't offend anybody in this movie? I don't know. I mean, the trailer looks good. It looks good. I want to check it out. But uh, this is just Dan Aykroyd, I believe, just saying stuff. So the woke mob probably doesn't come after him. That's what it absolutely sounds like to me. It really does. This is sad, man, that even comedians now are coming out and saying, oh, no, we shouldn't be doing this. And if I'm not mistaken, you know, Eddie Murphy a few years ago, I believe I put up a video on that. He apologized for his comedy routines. Don't apologize to these people because it will never be enough. These people will never, ever be satisfied. They're going to come. They're going to cancel you no matter what, because no matter what you say, Dan Aykroyd, you did wear blackface in trading places. I wasn't offended by it at all. I thought it was hilarious. It fit so well in that movie. It was funny. But the woke mob, they probably never saw trading places. They probably never cared about it. I mean, this this snowflake generation today, man. Man, I feel bad for the future. I really do. Because the future at this pace is going to be woke trash. I mean, it's it's just so sad, man, what's going on out there. And comedy is just done. It's just done. But I'm not offended by it. Dan Aykroyd, you shouldn't be feeling bad about what you did or what comedians do. It's comedy. Just make me laugh. Guess what? These people are going to be offended by anything you do, no matter what. Just your mere presence. Now, probably your mere presence as a white man is enough to trigger these people. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Matrix and Roadshow fans, do you agree with me? Dan Aykroyd, this is pretty pathetic. Bending the knee to the woke mob over comedy. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.